rarely do have the opportunity to really bring an artist's career back into focus or his life's work back to life. And the way in which we have a kind of personal connection with these works, we often feel like we're seeing them for the first time since the artist made them. Yeah, these have never been unrolled before. This was the role that these probably haven't been, haven't seen the light of day for 50 years. We have 829 paintings, and we've unrolled roughly half of that, stretched maybe a third of that. The Clifford Still Museum Research Center was launched in 2013, and it was always intended to be part of the Clifford Still Museum. The will not only specifies preservation and exhibition, but study as being an important part in Still's mind. Uh, so he knew that study would be an important part of our mission. The Clifford Still Museum is beginning to provide guidance and some research via the archives and other relationships with the Getty Conservation Institute, for example, to help understand the materials and the, the intentions of those artists through the archives, and then help build a greater body of knowledge about not just the movement, but also about the materials of that time. So that information can be accessed and help provide other conservators and other scholars insights into how certain pictures may have looked. The Clifford Still Museum has overlapped with the Getty Center on a number of instances. The interest in having a symposium on conservation, I think, was something both of us have been trying to do on this period because we both have a fairly strong commitment to the idea of serious scholarship and study, and the opportunity presented itself in this symposium happening this week. It's the Biennial Symposium in collaboration with the Getty Conservation Institute. And it is about these fundamental questions. It's really putting out there the acknowledgement that these things change and that part of conservation is an interpretive act. And the role that conservation has, not just in the care of the pictures, but the interpretation and long-term understanding of these artworks in general. It's bringing together conservators, conservation scientists, and art historians all coming together to sort of talk about some of these issues that this collection really exemplifies.